Yeah. Should be able to full screen it. Steven, I put the closed captions on. Alright, let's turn the let's turn the volume up for this. It's that big silver. Oh hit the, just hit there you go. And hit that silver. This is K2 News, the spirit of the Northwest. The Oregon State Highway Division not only had a whale of a problem on its hands, but had a stinking whale of a problem. What to do with one 45-foot, 8-ton whale dead on arrival on the beach near Florida? Can we put the closed captions on? Is it possible? Because I tried them earlier and they were There we go. Started over. I'm sorry about that, Stephen. We got it all. I mean, probably all. We all do this. And this is an important video that Kelly picked. I don't want us to miss a word. Here we go. It has to be said, the Oregon State Highway Division not only had a whale of a problem on its hands, it had a stinking whale of a problem. What to do with one 45 foot, 8 ton whale dead on arrival? This is beach in the year 1970. It's been so long since a whale had washed up in Lane County, nobody could remember how to get rid of one. In selecting its battle plan, the Highway Division decided the carcass couldn't be buried because it might soon be uncovered. It couldn't be cut up and then buried because nobody wanted to cut it up, no, and it couldn't be burned. No, no, so dynamite it was, some 20 oh, cases oh. or a half ton of it. The hope right. was that the long this Pacific gray whale would be almost disintegrated by the blast, and the 12 pieces still around after the explosion would be taken care of by seagulls and other scavengers. Well, I'm confident that it'll work. The only thing is we're not sure just exactly how much uh, explosives it'll take to disintegrate this things so the scavengers, seagulls and crabs and whatnot can clean it up. The dynamite was buried primarily on the leeward side of the big mammal, so as most of the remains would be blown toward the sea. About 75 bystanders, most of them residents who had first found the whale to be an object of curiosity before they tired of its smell, were moved back a quarter of a mile away. <laughs> Our camera stopped rolling immediately after the blast. The humor of the entire situation suddenly gave way to a run for survival. A huge chunk of trail cover fell everywhere. A park car over a quarter of a mile from the blast site was the target of one large chunk. The passenger compartment literally snapped. Fortunately, no human was hit as badly as the car. However, everyone on the scene was covered with small particles of dead whales. The darkness began to set in. The highway crews were back on the beach burying the remains including a large piece of the carcass which never left the blast site. It might be concluded that should a whale ever wash ashore in Lane County again, those in charge will not only remember what to do, but certainly remember oh, what not to do. Left. Did you see the size of that explosion? <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much.